Good evening, everyone. Is this on? Yeah, you can hear me, right? All right. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Senior Academic and Scholarship Awards Ceremony. Before we begin, I ask that you guys please silence your cell phones so that this evening's program may proceed smoothly. Thank you. And if you could now please stand for the posting of the colors by the Wareham High School JROTC cadets. Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance led by Nicholas Dix, President of the National Honor Society. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce Mr. Palladino, Principal of Wareham Public Schools. <clears throat> On behalf of the entire Wareham High School, I want to welcome all the parents and families to our Senior Academic Awards Ceremony. I would also like to thank members of our school committee and our superintendent, Dr. Kimberly Shaverhood, for attending tonight. At tonight's event, we will hand out over $273,000 in local scholarships to these deserving Wareham High School seniors. This will represent one of the largest amounts of local scholarships ever given to one class in Wareham High School's history. I would like to thank the local scholarship providers for their generosity Many of these providers are seated here tonight. I would also like to thank the volunteers from the Site-Based Management Committee on Student Recognition, Ms. Abraham, Ms. Kavicki, Ms. Downey, Sergeant First Class Hudson, Ms. Medeiros, Ms. Ullman, Ms. Peabody, Ms. Rosenfield, and Ms. Solano for their tireless work putting on this event. They have spent many hours volunteering after school to make sure we recognize these deserving students seated in front of us tonight. Most importantly, I want to congratulate the students here tonight for your accomplishments, both inside and outside of the classroom. Most of the seniors here tonight were involved in multiple clubs and teams at the high school. They've all maintained very high GPAs and many balanced part-time jobs. These students learn very early in high school how to multitask, how to manage their time appropriately. This is uh, one of the most academically competitive senior classes we have ever had to graduate from Wareham High School. Class rank was not solidified until very late in the school year. Thank you for doing what you are doing to make Wareham High School an awesome place. You set the bar high. Your role models for all the students at Wareham High School to emulate. Tonight is your night to be recognized and rewarded for your great work you have put forth over the past four years. Thank you and enjoy the ceremony. I'd like to introduce our superintendent, Dr. Shaver Hood. Thank you. Good evening, members of the school committee, 
Wareham Public School administrators, faculty, staff, family, friends, and the graduating class of 2019. Welcome to this evening's ceremony. The Senior Awards Night is always a highly anticipated event. For on this night, recognition is given for all of the hard work and academic accomplishments that our seniors have achieved. GPAs, scores on SATs, AP, and IB exams, as well as a myriad of classroom assessments indicate mastery of content. Our students have not just learned core competencies and met benchmarks, but have synthesized and analyzed what they've been taught. This is the hallmark of higher thinking skills. In a global economy in which we live, universities and employers are not simply looking for students who can remember and recite information. Rather, they seek individuals who can create new meaning and interpretation out of data and can present findings in multiple ways. Our seniors have demonstrated those capabilities and that has earned them a seat in tonight's auditorium. Seniors, I know that you have future greatness. With many awards to win, accomplishments to conquer, and stories to tell. Thank you for the outstanding job you did as a student in Wareham Public Schools. I wish you well, and I look forward to hearing about your future endeavors. Thank you. And I would like to introduce the class president, Justin Schluter. Welcome, family, friends, and soon-to-be graduates to the Senior Academic Awards Ceremony. Students from the class of 2019 have been invited to attend this ceremony because of their successes in academic, civic, and personal areas. Congratulations to my fellow classmates on your achievements. Tomorrow, after graduation, we will each go in a different direction. Outside of Wareham High School, we will meet new challenges and find opportunities. Tonight, however, we are honoring each of you and the hard work and effort you have put into your various achievements. Before I leave you, I want to share a quote from Beverly Sills. There are no shortcuts to any place worth going. Please take this quote with you. Remember to challenge yourself and seize opportunities. With preparation and opportunity, but without shortcuts, you will find your way to success, which is a place, place worth being. Thank you and congratulations recipients. And now, introducing Ms. Seleno, your Master of Ceremonies. Good evening again to all of you, and welcome to our Senior Scholarship and Academic Awards Night. To the families and friends of our seniors, thank you for joining us this very special evening and for allowing us the privilege of teaching your children over the past four years. To all the members of the Wareham community who are providing our seniors with scholarships and grants this evening, thank you. Your very generous financial support of our students is critical as they strive to reach their goals in higher education. You are providing tangible, visible, and symbolic support, not only of this group of students, but of our school system in general. So thank you. We have all, oh, sure, yeah, you can give them a round of applause. It's a lot of money. <laughs> we have also planned a short reception for all the scholarship providers and the recipients in the library following this evening's formal program. Members of the awards committee will direct our scholarship providers to the library. And if you are the recipient of a top 10 gold scholar, a superintendent, a principal, or an assistant principal award, please remember to come to the stage with your family so that we may get a photo for our seniors yearbook. Graduates, if you are the recipient of a scholarship tonight, please be sure to attend the reception. The scholarship providers will be wearing name tags and I am sure that they would like to thank you personally um, or would like your personal thank you for their support. Um, I'm going to quickly review the routine for the presentations. So when your name is called, you are going to please come forward to the stage by way of the right hand ramp, that is my left, your right. Please come up to the stage and accept your awards. You'll shake hands and then you will exit to the right, the opposite direction that you guys entered. 
If you're following someone, please just stop and give them a moment to receive their award and then quickly follow. Our first academic awards of the evening are presented to those seniors who have earned the highest academic average in a specific class. They will be presented by a faculty representative of that academic discipline. The second set of awards, called Teacher's Awards, are presented to those students who display outstanding qualities in attitude, dependability, and scholarship. The Scholarship Awards will then be presented by Ms. Downey and myself. Next, Mr. Palladino will introduce the new scholarships and their provider. When they were called, please come to the stage, or if you have not already, you'll be backstage. And the next set of awards will be given by members of WHS administrations as outlined in your program. And then the last awards of the ceremony are the most prestigious, the Gold Scholar Awards, presented to the top 10 academically ranked seniors. I urge you to stay for the whole program. Even if you have received an award, you may be called later in the program for an additional award or even scholarships. So show support to your friends and your classmates. Be polite and please leave at the end of the program. The academic awards will be presented by academic area by the individual that is named on your program, except Mr. Murray will be providing you for humanities. He, he's, he's here. He lost his key, but he found it. Please hold your applause until the end of the names, and then the award recipients will be called in a group. The scholarship ones will be called in groups of 10. And to start the proceedings, I would like to introduce Ms. Rosenfield, retired foreign language teacher, to read the names of our recipients. She will also be joined by Ms. Dion to hand out the Career and Technology Awards. Enjoy. Good evening. I would like to congratulate all the seniors graduating this year. I am pleased to introduce Mrs. Amy Dion to hand out the Career and Technology Awards. Lauren Anderson, Sports and Entertainment Marketing. Alexander Cook, Technology Design Lab One. Kaya Fennell, Technology Design Lab One. Brian Kessenbaum, Culinary Arts Two. Tiara Middleton, School to Career Program. Jacob Scott, Culinary Arts Three. Please come forward. Thank you, Mrs. Dion. And now I am pleased to introduce Mrs. Kimberly Kavicki to hand out the Foreign Language Awards. Trig Krogstad, Spanish 3. Andrew Lacaya, Spanish 1. Andrew Lacaya, Spanish 2. Alyssa Perez, IB Language Acquisition Spanish SLY2, Year 2. Please come forward. Thank you, Mrs. Kavicki. And now I am pleased to introduce Mrs. Dion again to hand out the Fine Arts and Music Awards. Alexandria Allen, Art 2. Kaya Fennell, Art 1. McKenna Fitzgerald, AP Studio Art, 2D Design. McKenna Fitzgerald, AP Studio Art, 3D Design. Madeline Howard, Art 1. Craig Krogstad, Video Production 2, Cameron Osborne, Graphic Design 1, and Aaron Packer, Concert Band, please come forward.
Thank you. Now I am pleased to introduce Mr. Michael Murray to hand out the Humanities Awards. Lauren Anderson, Core Academics. Samari Auguste, English 12. Alexander Cook, Core Academics. Tevin Hopper, Creative Writing. Joseph, Joseph Engels, Age of Mythology. Trey Krogstad, English 12. Kristen Lachance, Core Academics. Courtney Rudnicki, English 12. John Spinner, English 12. Please come forward. To continue, Paige Strong, IB Language A1 English Literature HL. Paige Strong, IB TOK Theory of Knowledge. Jordan Westgate, Core Academics. Jayla Yates, Core Academics. And for Social Studies, Katinka Kutzer, Death and Dying, Katinka Kutzer, U.S. History II, 1877 to 2001, and Ariel Lemire, Psychology. Please come forward. Thank you, Mr. Murray. And now I am pleased to introduce Mr. Brent Ruder to hand out the Science Awards. Joshua Gallagher, AP Physics One. Joseph Ingalls, Earth Science. Katinka Kruzer, Biology. Sheridan Pinkham, Anatomy and Physiology. Sheridan Pinkham, IB Biology, SL Year 2. Olivia Rakowski Calvin, Zoology. Courtney Rudnicki, Introduction to Astronomy. And Justin Schluter, Woodworking 1, Advanced Woodworking. Please come forward. Thank you, Mr. Ruder. And now I am pleased again to introduce Mrs. Kimberly Kavicki to hand out the Mathematics Awards. Joshua Gallagher, AP Calculus AB. Kirsten Lachance, Advanced Mathematical Decision Making. Priscilla Quinones, Advanced Mathematical Decision Making and Justin Schluter, IB Mathematics SL. Please come forward.
Thank you, Ms. Mrs. Kavicki. And now I am again pleased to introduce Mr. Ruder to hand out the Physical Education and JROTC Awards. Just two. Brianna Clemens, Physical Education, grades 11 and 12, girls. Evan D'Olympia, LET, 4B, Leadership Theory and Application. Please come forward. Thank you, Mr. Ruda. Mr. Ruda, thank you. There's only two. <clears throat> and now I am pleased again to introduce Ms. Ashley Salerno to hand out the teacher's awards presented to those students who display outstanding qualities in attitude, dependability, and scholarship. Brianna Clements. Reniana Dillon, Emily Glidden, Devin Gonzalez, Brendan Ireland, Ryan McSherry, Na No, Cajun Seven Ostachuk, Priscilla Quinones, and another one for, for, for Priscilla, Priscilla Quinones again. Please come forward. And now, Ms. Megan Downey will join Ms. Solano to read the scholarship awards. All right, I'm just gonna give the guidance counselors a second to scooch themselves down with all of that. Um, so recipients, you are gonna be called on stage in groups of 10 people. You're gonna stand in line for us and you're going to step forward when we individually call your names so we can announce the scholarship or scholarships that you have been awarded. Uh, when everyone has received their scholarships, you will then exit. Are you ready? All right. Will the following people please come to the stage? Alexandria Allen, Samari August, Michaela Bumpus, Madison Burnett, Brianna Clemens, Alexander Cook, Victoria Correa, Victoria Crockett, and Evan D. Olympia, and Reniana Dillon. Please come up to the stage. I need you out here. Yep. So just come down and make room in a straight line for me. I'm going to embarrass all of them for a second. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call their names. All right, so when your name is called, please step forward. Alexandra Allen will be attending Indiana State University. They have been awarded the Sandra Castellito Dicas Memorial Scholarship. <laughs> stay on stage, stay right on stage for us. Yeah, you can't run yet. <laughs> Samari August will be attending LaSalle College. He has been awarded the John B. Engel and Agena F. Engel Memorial Scholarship. Michaela Bumpus will be attending UMass Boston. She has been awarded the Otis Civilian Advisory Council Scholarship, the Theodore H. Barth Scholarship, and the William A. Flaherty Memorial Scholarship. <laughs> Madison Burnett will be attending Bristol Community College. She has been awarded the Wareham Police Association Scholarship. Brianna Clemens will be attending Bristol Community College. She has been awarded the Wareham Education Association Plymouth County Education Association Scholarship. <laughs> Alexander Cook will be attending Cape Cod Community College. He has been awarded the Lewis F. Fischetti Memorial Scholarship. 
Victoria Correa will be attending the University of Alabama. She has been awarded the Dudley L. Brown VFW and Ladies Auxiliary Scholarship. Vicki Crockett, Tori, Victoria Crockett, sorry, <laughs> will be attending UMass Boston. She has been awarded the Christian A. Herter Memorial Scholarship and the Mark Anthony Salerno Jr. Memorial Scholarship. Evan D. Olympia will be attending the Massachusetts Maritime Academy. He has been awarded the American Legion Post number 220 Good Citizenship Award. <laughs> Reniana Dillon will be attending Harvard University. <laughs> she has been awarded the Kiwanis Club of Born Wareham James Franklin Scholarship the Midge Roby Memorial Research and Scholarship Foundation and Corporation Scholarship, the Theodore H. Barth Scholarship, and the Toby Hospital Guild Scholarship. Congratulations. Congratulations, recipients. You guys can go that way. These are your time. Thank you. Can the following students please come up to the stage? Nicholas Dix, Kaya Fennell, McKenna Fitzgerald, Shayla Foote, Josh Gallagher, Emily Glidden, Tyler Haddock, Emily Coronan, Ariel Lemieux, and Ryan McSherry. Nicholas Dix is going to be attending UMass Amherst and has been awarded the Ann M. Pappy Scholarship, the Burger King Scholars Program, Elks National Foundation National Semifinalist, Massachusetts Association of Insurance Women's Scholarship, the Cranberry Educational Foundation Scholarship, the Theodore H. Barth Scholarship, Viking Theater Company Scholarship Award, Wareham. Wareham Community Associates 2019 James Frost Scholarship, Wareham Education Association, Plymouth County Education Association Scholarship, Wareham New Bedford Lodge of Elks number 73 Scholarship, and the Wareham Police Association Scholarship. <laughs> Kaya Fennell will be attending Bristol Community College and has been awarded the Leonard C. Lopes Memorial Scholarship. <laughs> McKenna Fitzgerald will be attending Bridgewater State University and has been awarded the American Legion Auxiliary Post 220, the Laura B. Hawes Scholarship, the Wareham Historical Society Scholarship, and the William A. Flaherty Memorial Scholarship. Shayla Foote will be attending Bridgewater State University and has been awarded the Wakinko Rod and Gun Club Cecil G. Foote Jr. Memorial Scholarship. <laughs> Joshua Gallagher will be attending UMass Lowell and has been awarded the AD Make Peace Company Scholarship, the Wareham Community Associates 2019 Walter E. Longmore Scholarship, and the Wareham New Bedford Lodge of Elks number 73 scholarship. <laughs> Emily Glidden will be attending UMass Dartmouth and has been awarded the American Legion Auxiliary Post number 220, the Laura B. Haas scholarship, and the American Legion Post number 220 nursing scholarship. Tyler Haddock will be attending University of New England and has been awarded the John T. Galligan Scholarship and the Wareham Little League Phil Papa Bear Strawn Scholarship. <laughs> Emily
Emily Carnan will be attending the University of New England and has been awarded the Joseph X. Vasconcellos Memorial Scholarship, the Theodore H. Barth Scholarship, the Wakinko Rod and Gun Club Cecil G. Foote Jr. Memorial Scholarship, the Wareham Community Associates 2019 Leon Davidson Scholarship, the Wareham Girls Softball Association Scholarship, and the Wareham School Department Secretaries Association Scholarship. Ariel Lemieux will be attending Cape Cod Community College and has been awarded the Cape Cod Five Laptop Award. And Ryan McSherry will be attending Tulane University and has been awarded the Wareham Education Association Plymouth County Education Association Scholarship, the Wareham High School Student Athlete Scholarship, the Wareham Youth Soccer Club Danielle DiGennario Labby Memorial Scholarship, and the Wareham Youth Soccer Sid Reed Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations. Will you make sure that you can hear me for um, Bring them near us. Mm -hmm. Tiara Middleton. Na No. Elena Nicoletti. Ethan Osley. Colby Paling. Matthew Pearl. Alyssa Perez, Sheridan Pinkham, Olivia Rakoski Calvin, and Jillian Rodding. Please come to the stage. Tiara Middleton, please step forward. Tiara will be attending the University of New Haven and has been awarded the John B. Engel, a Gina F. Engel Memorial Scholarship, the Courtney's Dream Fund Memorial Scholarship, and the Trey Miranda Memorial Scholarship. <laughs> Nano will be attending Mass College of Pharmacy and Health Services. She has been awarded the John T. Galligan Scholarship the Courtney's Dream Fund Memorial Scholarship, the Yonsei Kate Verdian Festival Scholarship, and the Sean C. Andrade Memorial Scholarship. <laughs> Elena Nicoletti will be attending Bridgewater State University and has been awarded the Wareham Community Television, the Wareham High School Alumni Association Scholarship, and the Wareham High School Key Club Scholarship. Ethan Osley. I know, I, I, every time I said, I asked his mom too, man. Ethan will be attending UMass Dartmouth and has been awarded the Theodore H. Barth Scholarship. All right, Colby Palin, I need to take a deep breath for yours. UMass Amherst. He will be awarded the Buddy Carlson Wareham Athletic Scholarship, the Joseph X. Vasconcellos Memorial Scholarship, the Lucille Davis Memorial Scholarship, the Onset Kate Verdian Memorial, I'm sorry, the Onset Kate Verdian Festival Scholarship, the Patricia M. Cullen Scholarship for School Leaders, the Plymouth County Teachers Federal Credit Union Otis Severance Memorial Scholarship, the R.D. Stillman Memorial Scholarship Fund Incorporation Scholarship, the Ruth Samito Gomes Memorial Scholarship, the Viking Theater Company Scholarship Award, the Wankinko Rod and Gun Club Incorporation Cecil G. Foote Jr. Memorial Scholarship, the Wareham Athletic Association Scholarship, the Wareham Community Associates 2019 Sherman Gleason Scholarship, I'm not done, Wareham Education Association Plymouth County Education Association Scholarship, the Wareham Firemen's Association Scholarship, the Wareham High School Alumni Association Scholarship, the Wareham New Bedford Lodge of Elks number 73 scholarship. No, oh, I'm not done. Wareham Youth Soccer Scholar Soccer Club Incorporation, Sid Reed Memorial Scholarship, and the William A. Flaherty Memorial Scholarship. Stay with me. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Matthew Pearl will be attending Anna Marie College and has been awarded the Wareham Little League Ricardo Matos Figueroa Scholarship. And congratulations, you guys, on your win. Alyssa Perez will be attending UMass Boston and has been awarded the John T. Galligan Scholarship and the Courtney's Dream Fund Memorial Scholarship. Sharon Pinkham will be attending Emanuel College. She has been awarded the Chris Alicia Memorial Scholarship, the John T. Galligan Scholarship, the Ronald L. Bumpus Memorial Scholarship, the Wareham Community Associates 2019 Wayne D. Peterson Scholarship, the Wareham High School Alumni Association Scholarship in memory of Bradford Jubert, and the William Makepeace Atwood Scholarship. Congratulations. Olivia Rakoski calvin will be attending Mass College of Pharmacy and Health Services. She has been awarded the American Legion Post No. 220 Music Scholarship, the Arthur Higgins Memorial Scholarship, the Courtney's Dream Fund Memorial Scholarship, the Onset Cape Verdean Memorial, I'm sorry, excuse me, the Onset Cape Verdean Festival Scholarship, the Onset Women's Club Scholarship, and the Trey Miranda Memorial Scholarship. <laughs> Jillian Rodding will be attending Emanuel College. She has been awarded the Chris Alicia Memorial Scholarship, the Grace Swift Nye and Alfred Gibbs Nye Scholarship, the Courtney's Dream Fund Memorial Scholarship, the R.D. Stillman Memorial Scholarship Fund and Corporation Scholarship, the Ruth Semito Gomes Memorial Scholarship, the Trey Miranda Memorial Scholarship, the Wareham Athletic Association Scholarship, and the Wareham New Bedford Lodge of Elks Number 73 Scholarship. Congratulations. Congratulations, you guys. Oh, I, only four more. Will the following students please come to the stage? Jamie Reed, Courtney Renicki, Paige Strawn, and Jayla Yates. Jamie Reed, please step forward. Jamie will be attending University of Rhode Island and has been awarded the Midge Roby Memorial Research and Scholarship Foundation Scholarship, the Prince Henry Society Stoico First Fed Scholarship, and the Theodore H. Barth Scholarship. <laughs> Courtney Renicki will be attending Bristol Community College and has been awarded the John T. Galligan Scholarship. Paige Strawn will be attending UMass Boston and has been awarded the Grace Swift Nye and Alfred Gibbs Nye Scholarship, the Patricia M. Cullen Scholarship for School Leaders, the Ruth Samito Gomes Memorial Scholarship, the Wakinko Rod and Gun Club Cecil G. Foote Jr. Memorial Scholarship, and the Wareham Youth Soccer Club Sid Reed Memorial Scholarship. Jayla Yates will be attending Cape Cod Community College and has been awarded the Wareham Police Association Scholarship. Congratulations. And now I'm pleased to introduce Mr. Palladino to introduce the first presenter of the new scholarship awards. Each year, local community has an opportunity to submit a new scholarship to provide to students of Wareham High School. This year, we have three new scholarships to award. I would, I'm pleased to introduce Kathleen Messenger to read the first new scholarship from the Wareham Garden Club.
Good evening and congratulations to all the graduates. The Wareham Garden Club is pleased to award the 2019 Memorial Scholarship to honor the memory of its beloved member, Molly Lou Tragis. This scholarship is a tribute to the modesty and altruism of Molly, who did so much for so many and for so long. Beginning her career in 1970, she served on the boards of four garden clubs in Maine and Massachusetts. She was the co-founder of the Maine Herb Society, was a New England district director, a flower show judge, and dear to her heart, an organizer of junior gardeners. In that capacity, she won two national awards. She ignited a passion for learning, inspiring young people to appreciate the environment and to become responsible caretakers of the earth. She was a mentor, a leader, a gardener, a designer, an innovator, a supporter, a teacher, a friend, and a role model we can all aspire to. Molly opened all of our eyes to the vital connection between people and plants. This lady was a genuine treasure wherever she went and whatever she was doing. She was a kind, dependable team player who always gave more than her share. On behalf of the Wareham Garden Club membership, I am honored to present the Molly Lou Tragis Scholarship to Jillian Rodding. And now I'm pleased to introduce Dr. Clifford Sylvia, longtime Wareham educator, retired, and a school committee member. Uh, to announce the William E.C. Skip War the Third Award. Good evening, staff, parents, friends, and especially the graduates of 2019. My name is Cliff Sylvia, and I have the honor and the privilege of serving as the president of the Wayham chapter of the Theodore H. Bath Scholarship Foundation. The Bath Foundation is a multi-million dollar scholarship organization headquartered in New York City. For over 50 years, Wareham High School has been associated with this national foundation, and the local chapter of the Bath Foundation provides four-year scholarships to Wareham High School students of approximately $100,000 a year. Many of you might be wondering why I'm up here, because the Bath Scholarship is not a new scholarship. The local foundation has encountered a unique circumstance which happened last year. Three of the students who are entitled to the Bath Scholarship did not qualify for their allotment. This was not necessarily a negative thing. In fact, one student lost his full-time status because he graduated early. Normally, this unused money would go back to the National Foundation, but the local chapter proposed another use for the unused money. Two years ago, Mr. William E. C. Waugh III passed away after a lengthy illness. Mr. Waugh, known to most of us here in Wayham as Skip, and he was the co-owner of the Waz Marine, which is now Zeckel Marine. And more importantly, he served as the president of the Wayham chapter of the Theodore H. Bath Scholarship Foundation for more than 30 years. He was dedicated to the Bath Foundation and especially to the students of Wayham High School. The local chapter wrote a proposal to the National Foundation to allow the extra funds from these unclaimed scholarship awards to be presented to three additional graduates of the class of 2019 in the memory of William E.C. Waugh III. Unlike the regular Bath Scholarship Program, which are four-year scholarships, the extra funds we paid out as a one-time supplemental, supplemental award. A single payment will be made to the college or university of the three recipients 
at the beginning of the second semester of the 2019-2020 academic year. At this time, I would like to present three one-time only awards of $3,500 each. If this situation happens again, I hope we can take a similar action in memory of William E. C. War III. At this time, I would like to present these three awards to Justin Charles Schluter, Joshua Alexander Gallagher, and McKenna Scott Fitzgerald. Please come forward. And now I'm pleased to introduce Mr. Jeffrey W. Hallahan to read the Wareham Park Scholarship Award. Thank you. Hello, everyone, and good evening. Uh, my name is Jeff Hallahan. I'm chairman of the Wareham Park Owners Association. We represent all of the mobile home parks uh, here in town. Uh, for instance, my affiliation is Garden Homes Estates. Uh, my co-chair, a gentleman by the name of John Stelmach, is the owner of Red Wing and Mogan's Mobile Home Park. Um, as owners, most of us are already deeply committed to this town. Uh, but we came up with an idea collectively where we wanted to do, we wanted to do something more. And we wanted it to be special and we wanted it to be noteworthy. And we decided to establish a scholarship uh, awarded annually to a deserving uh, Wareham senior that was somehow connected to one of our communities. Um, so it's taken some time. This was all very new to us. Um, but we made it happen, which brings me here tonight, um, to award our first ever scholarship in the amount of $3,000. And speaking personally, I couldn't be more thrilled. Um, very quickly, I do need to thank a few people uh, for helping us through this process, uh, beginning with the selectmen, Alan Slavin and Peter Teitelbaum. Um, Dr. Shaver Hood was instrumental in helping us formulate this. And of course, your very enthusiastic Principal Palladino, thank you so much. And most recently, uh, from the guidance department, Allison Madeira. So there's a lot to go around, a lot of thanks. This truly was a group effort. Thanks to all of you, and thanks for allowing me to participate here tonight. It, it's been a lot of fun. So with all that said, I am pleased to announce that the recipient of the 2019 Wareham Park Owners uh, Association Scholarship in the amount of $3,000 is Seven, I know I'm going to get the first name right, the last name perhaps not, Ostachuk, Seven Ostachuk. <laughs> yeah, thank you. That was great. And now I'm pleased to reintroduce Ms. Ashley Solano to read the United States Marine Corps Award. All right. So this year, Staff Sergeant Sterling had several opportunities to come and speak with the students of Wareham High School about Marine Corps and how military service can benefit their future. The United States Marine Corps has offered a scholarship for scholastic excellence, a Distinguished Athlete Award, and the Semper Fidelis Award for Musical Excellence to a high school senior, one male and female, um, that show exemplary young citizenship and role models for our students. These recipients are being recognized for their academic achievement and leadership as a high school scholar. So with that, for the Scholastic Excellent Award, your recipients are Nano and Alexander Cook. Please come up.
for the Distinguished Athletic Award, your recipients are Isis Davis and Devin Gonzalez. And we have one for the Semper Fidelis Award for Musical Excellence. Your recipient tonight is Aaron Packer. And now I am pleased to introduce Ms. Freitas to read the Viking Spirit Scholarship Award. This scholarship is meant to recognize a student who embodies the positive attributes of a Viking. Most of us know Vikings to be bold and fearless, but a bit of research shows that they also have many positive traits, including determination, loyalty, strength, as well as a strong sense of community. Here at Wareham High School, we promote with staff and students our core values and beliefs which are posted in every classroom to show how highly we regard four essential attributes, scholarship, citizenship, craftsmanship, and sportsmanship. By recognizing students each month for demonstrating these attributes well. The student I have chosen to receive this scholarship has embodied each of these qualities consistently while a student at Wareham High School. In fact, this student has been at Wareham High School for a total of five years. He was one of the very first students in our eighth grade dual enrollment programs here at Wareham High School. So for the very first time, at, when he first came here, he, de he demonstrated scholarship, challenging himself as an eighth grader with four honors level ninth grade classes. Over the years, he enrolled himself in over a dozen honors level classes an advanced placement course, and then challenge himself further by participating in the Bridgewater State University dual enrollment program during both his junior and his senior year. As a result, he will most likely start college as a second semester sophomore. This young man also demonstrates citizenship. He volunteers weekly at his local church, and sharing his love of hockey and skating with young children in the Learn to Skate program. His citizenship can also be seen through his craftsmanship. In fact, he was nominated for and received both awards just this past spring for always being, and I quote, ready to mentor and help other students in drama and beyond. He is extremely mature and good at what he does. He steps into any role that he is given and masters it. He is co a committed member of the club and the school at large. He is indeed involved in such a variety of clubs and activities. It is no wonder that he is so well known, respected, and liked by both his peers and his teachers. Again, he demonstrates craftsmanship along with sportsmanship. He played football as a freshman varsity ice hockey all four years and was captain for two. He has been a member of the art club, the band, the chess club all four years and a captain for two. A DECA member for three years and a well-known member of the drama club all four years and president for one. And a member of the video club for all four years serving as vice president for two. Truly a man for all seasons and the epitome of the Viking spirit. And if this, this was not enough, this young man is probably one of the most positive students I know, always smiling and willing to help out with a sense of humor and the greatest of school spirit. My fondest memories, though, will always be about our trip to Scotland a few years ago. He embraced the cultural experience like no other, purchasing and wearing a kilt for three straight days. <laughs> Yes, even on the flight home. <laughs> Please help me congratulate Colby Paling with a round of applause as he, does, as he is indeed a true Viking spirit in our school.
And now Mr. Palladino will read the special attendance awards. As mentioned, the recognition awards this evening are for perfect attendance. As a principal of Wareham High School, it gives me great pleasure to present these awards tonight. At Wareham High School, we have a saying, you have to be on the job to do the job. This is something that was preached by one of our mentors to all of the WHS staff. This year, these students exemplified being on the job and doing the job. This evening, we have four graduating seniors who have had perfect attendance for their senior year. Devin Gonzales, Danny Masterson, Justin Schluter, and Colin Vercalone. Justin. We also want to rec recognize one young man who has had a record of no absences during his sophomore, junior, and senior year, and he just got off the baseball field, Tyler Haddock. Yeah. Finally, we have one senior who has had perfect attendance in the Wareham Public Schools for the past four school years. The Wareham High School Perfect Attendance Award during her freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior year goes to Lauren Anderson. One last award is a special recognition award. We'd like to honor a senior who was nominated at, as Wareham High School Student of the Year. We'd like to welcome Rihanna, Reniana Dillon as our Wareham High School Student of the Year. And now I'm pleased to introduce Ms. Medeiros to read the Guidance Award. Our Guidance Award is going to a student that I have known for the last five years. I have seen many ups and downs throughout the years. Starting in the eighth grade, the student struggled with coming to school, and when they did, it was rarely on time. Obviously, their grades suffered due to this. In the ninth grade, they had a similar mentality, barely making it out of the ninth grade. In the 10th grade, something started to shift. It was not just mat maturity, but she decided what she wanted in life. When I asked her what changed, she stated something extremely profound. She said she wanted a successful future and decided to take control of what she could. It was then that her academics became a priority. Her attendance dra dramatically improved into sophomore year, going down to only three absences for the year. And with this change, her grades steadily, steadily increased. About this time, her home and personal life became more stressful with many uncertainties. This motivated her to improve her grades even more. She got extra help in math, the subject she struggled the most in. She started reaching out for help to overcome stress, anxiety, and depression. She worked five days a week outside of school time. She decided that if she wanted something, only she could make it happen. When I asked her about this philosophy, she used the example of cheerleading. She was upset her junior year when she was not named captain, so she worked harder to improve and become captain her senior year. Academically, she shined by her junior year obtaining all A's and B's. As for most people standing on the sidelines, you would never know her personal struggles. She kept them to herself. She has a genuine, compassionate personality and an authentic desire to better her own life and the lives of those around her. To me, she exemplifies the Wareham High School mi mission. Education is key to a successful life. She embraces this wholeheartedly. I am so proud to present her this award today as I know her true potential lies outside of these doors. It is with great pleasure that I present this year's Guidance Award winner, Isis Davis.
And now I am pleased to introduce Ms. Dion to read the Dean, Student, Dean of Student Awards. Ms. Deneen. <laughs> Good evening. Tonight I'm here to honor a graduating senior who, to put it simply, has just come a long way. All of you enter the halls of Wareham High School as freshmen, and to be honest, some of you needed some work. Now, I know as Dean of Students, it's my job to be the one you sometimes don't want to see. The one who lets you know when maybe you're not handling a situation in the most mature, appropriate way. But to be honest, I'm okay with that. Why? Because I know it's part of the learning process. Many people think school's entirely about math, English, and history. And while those are important, school is about so much more. School's about learning how to deal with everyday struggles of life. Learning to overcome and conquer issues that you will inevitably have to deal with as an adult. For every teacher you've just not clicked with, there will likely be a boss along the way that will do the same. For every student you found irritating, there will be coworkers or people that you just run into who will do the same. The issues you encounter in high school, such as gossiping students or people trying to tear you down, you'll continue to encounter as an adult. High school is about learning how to appropriately appropriately react and deal with things in a mature and effective manner. Learning how to effectively deal with and overcome struggles is hard. Tonight I want to honor a senior who has done a tremendous amount of growth in their four years here at Wareham High School. A student who is academically inclined but early on struggled to find his place here. A senior who never gave up on himself, never took the easy way out, never quit. Even though he encountered obstacles, he continued to persevere, take responsibility, and improve himself. He rose to the occasion and proved everyone wrong. A student who I'm so incredibly proud of, John Spinner. And now I'm pleased to introduce Ms. Freitas to read the Assistant Principal's Award. The Assistant Principal's Award is given to recognize a special senior who has demonstrated a high level of persistence and determination. Having given this award for the past 12 years, I have often struggled in choosing the best student for this award, as there are so many that come to mind. But I strive to find one student that can serve as a role model for all students. The student is not necessarily the highest achieving student who receives multiple scholarships, but one that has impressed me with their tenacity and their upstanding character. This year, my choice for the award came to mind right away. For one, the student has an impressive GPA of over 96% and has been recognized for her outstanding academic achievement. But there is so much more to this young woman that has impressed me. From the beginning of her time as a student at Wareham High School, she has stood out among her peers. State, starting high school as an eighth grader in our very first cohort, cohort of the eighth grade dual enrollment program. Since then, she has continually challenged herself academically, taking 12 honors level courses, two advanced placement courses, two IB courses. In her senior year, she took on the challenge of the Bridgewater State University dual enrollment program, taking four courses for college credit. A second way this student has impressed me is that she is so well-rounded and involved in our school culture. She was a member of the astronomy club for two years was inducted into the Junior Honor Society in her freshman year and into the National Honor Society in her junior year. She was a class officer for two years and served as member of our student council for three years. She has shared her talents as a writer and a photographer and contributed to the yearbook for two years and as editor of the Key Club for four years as both a writer and a photographer for the Viking Times as a member of the Journalism Club 
and was a member of the AV Club for four years, serving as president for both her junior and senior year. But this student's contributions extend beyond the classroom and beyond the extracurricular activities at school. This student has also committed her time and talents to community service. In fact, she was recognized with both a Citizenship Award and a Scott A. Montero Award in her junior year for her amazing work in the community, initiating a fundraiser to support the victims of, the, of Hurricane Harvey, eventually grew to a, a school district initiative. She coordinated with the agencies in Houston, developed the flyers, sorted the items for shipping, and even went out into the community and found a private company to donate the cost of shipping the items. That year, she also volunteered many hours of her time working at other events like the Chalk Festival and Onset, the Moving Wall event, just to name two. In her senior year, she was once again recognized, and I quote, as an amazing, selfless person who is dedicated and focused on helping others. Again, receiving the Scotty Montero Award, as well as the Student Month of the Award for her volunteer work at the Cranberry Harvest Festival, the Wareham Public Library, and her work in leading the annual October effort to collect donations for UNICEF, UNICEF helping to eliminate neonatal tetanus in undeveloped countries. What impresses me the most, however, it is the incredibly positive attitude she brings to school every day with her beautiful smile and that twinkle in her eyes as she approaches everything she does with her maturity, a clear sense of right and wrong, generosity in offering her time and talent to others, and with her ability to stay focused on her goals. Persistent and determined? Absolutely. It gives me much pleasure to recognize Ms. Elena Nicoletti for this year's <laughs> And now I'm pleased to announce, uh, introduce Mr. Palladino to read the Principal's Award. When I first met the student, he was a shy adolescent who was very nervous. Over time, he has been observed as a confident student who takes initiatives and has become very dependable and reliable in class. He has always been very kind and courteous, but his work ethic is what sets him apart. He is one of the top students in his class academically. He is selfless and volunteers to tutor underclassmen after school. He constantly seeks feedback and won't rest until he has full understanding of the topic. He has the ability to understand real world implications for what he's being taught. He has been a member of the chess club, honorable, key club, multicultural club, and has received multiple, multiple academic and Viking awards. I spoke with all of his teachers to kind of get a feel for where things were, and one of his teachers made a comment that stuck with me. She said to me, he is one of the most conscientious students that I have ever taught in my 24 years at Wareham High School. This student will continue his studies at Bristol Community College next year. Please welcome to the stage the Wareham High School Principal's Award winner for 2019, Kevin England. And now I'm pleased to reintroduce Dr. Shaver Hood for the Superintendent's Award. I would like to share some of the thoughts that the staff had to say about the Superintendent's Award winner. Tenacity challenges herself beyond her current abilities. Exceptional work, considerate, responsible, willing to help others, a pleasure to have in class, simply outstanding. I met this student during her freshman year, and over the past four years, I've had the pleasure to watch this student operate in school and in the community. She's also dedicated herself to many, many hours of community service. 
In fact, a total of 372 community service hours. She's a friend, a leader, and respected by her peers. And she, ex she has a great deal of Viking spirit. She's a critical thinker, steadfast, and true to herself. Her future goals, to plan to study biology and pursue a career in the medical field. I am deeply honored to present the Superintendent's Award to Paige Strong. The last awards for the evenings are the most prestigious, the Gold Scholar Awards. They're presented to the top 10 academically ranked seniors. Please come to the stage when your name is called. Reniana Dillon. Jamie Reed. Nicholas Dix. Ryan McSherry. Cameron Keith, Michaela Bumpus, Na No, Ethan Osley, Emily Kernan, and Kevin England. Finally, I would like to recognize and acknowledge two particular notable accomplishments. I would like to have Reniana Dillon and Jamie Reed please step forward at this time. Reniana Dillon will be your class of 2019 valedictorian. And Jamie Reed will be your class of 2019 salutatorian. Congratulations to all. Hang on, Freitas. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, yeah. We're going to embarrass you a little bit. Before I, I turn it over to some closing remarks to Ms. Salerno, I'd like to uh, formally recognize Ms. Freitas. This will be her last uh, award ceremony. Uh, at Wareham High School, she's retiring after 27 plus years of service to the Wareham Public Schools. I'd like to give a round of applause for all of her efforts behind the scenes. Thank you. Uh, she is the unsung hero of Wareham High School. She is the person behind the scenes that keeps everything running smoothly and uh, just a tireless worker to the very last day. And uh, 
probably the best decision. Cliff, you asked me when I got hired as principal, what was the first thing I was going to do? And I hope you remember, I said, I'm going to find Ms. Freitas right now and talk her into staying, and that was the best move I ever made. So thank you for 27 years of service to all the students at Wayne Public Schools, and uh, obviously specifically to the high school over the last 25 plus years. I know she's looking forward to retirement, but we have a couple uh, more weeks left to, to grind here. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow morning at 6.30. Thank you, folks. I'll turn it over to Ms. Solano. Congratulations, seniors. This week marks a special rite of passage for each of you. I hope that you have been enjoying the festivities and celebrating your accomplishments. You have entered the last 24 hours of being a student of Wareham Public Schools. We all hope to see you live up to your potential, to follow your dreams, and to live a life that is satisfying and successful. As we conclude our program tonight, I want to thank WHS's own Mr. Roth and his piano class who provided musical accompaniment for tonight's program. Thank you. Also, thank you to the JROTC cadets, the Viking video crew, the cafeteria, and the custodial staff of WHS and all of the teacher volunteers. This night would not have been a success without your efforts, so thank you all as well. Before this presentation draws to a close, I would like to ask that the Gold Scholars, the top 10 award winners, the assistant principal, the principal, and the superintendent winners, uh, please come to the stage with your families for a quick photo, and then any scholarship providers. Please uh, go to the reception in the library. Scholarship winners, I remind you to seek out the providers at the reception to thank them for their support. That's it, folks. Good night, drive safely, and thank you for attending, and we'll see you tomorrow at graduation.